Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jolie Greenbaum. I'm the Executive Assistant at Keurig Immigration Law, and today we're going to be discussing our office methodology and flow. We follow a rigorous step-by-step -step process when filing an application, so I just want to run this through with you guys to show you what it looks like when a client first interacts with our office to the very end when their application is approved and we close their file. So the first thing that would happen would be that a client would book a consultation with a member of our team. And during this consultation, the client would uh, discuss with us their questions, and then we would propose the appropriate legal strategy for them. Following this, should the client decide that they would like to retain us, we would send forward to them a retainer agreement, uh, a list of opening file documents, and of course, information concerning uh, the initial payment. Once the retainer agreement has been signed and the opening file documents received as, as well as the initial deposit, then the client's file would become active and they would be assigned to a specific uh, immigration case coordinator at our firm. They're assigned to a case coordinator who will be working with them throughout the duration of the application preparation. And the timeline for this is roughly four to six weeks that we like to work on a client's file before we submit it. This might sound like a really short period of time, but the reason for that is because when a file becomes active, the information on the client and the background and the details of the case are still very fresh in our minds. So it's much easier for us to work with the client and you know to write something like the legal submission letter when we have all the information that's fresh. And we like to allocate priority to these clients whose files are active. So we can do that when it's within a really short period of time because there's, you know, there's often turnover. Um, there's constantly turnover in our office with new clients. So we like to make sure that we completely focus on this client's specific application in that four to six week period. And we found that this has not only allowed uh, for the client to be able to help us submit a very complete application, but it helps us in, you know, ensuring that we have all the documents and the forms. And it also helps us in writing the legal submission letter uh, more easily. So once your file becomes active and you're assigned to a case coordinator, they will go ahead and introduce themselves to you and move forward in sending you the questionnaire. If you watch our previous video, I describe what the questionnaire sort of looks like and how it helps us in building the legal submission letter. So once you receive the questionnaire, you will need to fill it out either with yourself or your partner, um, answering all the questions in as much detail as possible. The reason being that all the details are important and they help us in building the legal submission letter because as soon as you send the questionnaire back to us, then we do our part in writing the legal submission letter. Once the questionnaire responses are received, the your immigration case coordinator will then send you a tailored list of documents uh, for you to collect. Obviously, these documents would reflect the mandatory documents required by IRCC and additional supporting documents that we have found to be very helpful in our immigration applications. And then only at the very end of this preparation process do we send the forms for the clients to complete and sign. The reason being that forms expire. Obviously, to avoid that problem, now what we do is we always send the forms at the very end, have them signed right before we submit the application so we can completely avoid this problem happening. And then once we receive the, um, the documents, the forms, we will have completed the legal submission letter and have it reviewed by both the client and by Mary. Uh, the application will have been completed within that four to six week period and it is then that finally after a final review from the lawyer that we submit the application to immigration. So then you're probably wondering what happens after the application is submitted. There's obviously uh, a processing time so we send a very detailed email to our clients sort of outlining what the processing time is going to look like and what they can expect during this processing time. Um, the processing time can often be the most anxiety inducing, uh, I guess, portion of the whole process for clients, but we always advise our clients to, to remain calm and just to keep in mind the processing time. Only if an application processing has exceeded the processing time, which was uh, indicated by RRCC online, will we then send status update letters uh, asking immigration for either updates on the application that we sent or to expedite the process. Otherwise, all processing within the designated processing time we deem normal. So that being said, 
If you don't receive any news from us during the processing time, no news is not bad news. And we like to outline this from the very beginning. This is really important. We will only contact the client if we plan on doing immigration updates, where we like to supplement with additional cover letters and additional documents, sending this to immigration on a regular basis. Or when we receive correspondence from IRCC, of course, when we receive correspondences from IRCC, we always advise the clients right away and we act accordingly. And then finally, once we, you know, once we receive that, uh, that correspondence from IRCC saying that the application has been approved, then we, we close the file, but we always retain a digital copy uh, for our records. Uh, it's required by the Law Society. And then it's also just in case the client has other immigration applications that they would like to submit in the future, we have their information on file. So it would make future applications uh, much more, much easier. And it's also important to remember that during the processing time, if you're ever feeling anxious or nervous, that, that we follow our own rigorous process and steps in ensuring that your application is, is processing normally. We regularly check uh, immigration websites, listservs, uh, speaking with other colleagues to ensure that, you know, the processing of your, of your application is going well. So if you have any questions about uh, the immigration process, uh, about a specific immigration application, or you would like to discuss with us our office methodology and flow, please feel free to send us an email and we'll be more than happy to discuss this with you. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.